All right, Super Mario World. No changes here. Base ROM, we've read it. We don't need to read it again. Yoshi's House. Yoshi's Island 1. Demo level. The Small Sky. Okay. Art and Cena. Okay. Right. All sprites will jump. All sprites will jump. Intriguing. I guess like everything in this level is going to be springy. Ah, uh, this poor Goomba, he's just going to be stuck here for eternity, just twitching. I'm not sure I like this. Poor Goomba. He deserved a better fate than that. So wait, if I do this, where is it going to... Oh, it goes to the right. I didn't even look at the arrow, I just expected it to go left. Not smart on my part. Just notice there's a subtle touch to, like, the coloring. It's a little sepia-toned. Nice understated effect. Something to do with color math, I imagine. All things come back to color math sooner or later. No moles. Some sketchy stuff going on around here. Clearly I want that. Well, which way was the secret stuff? It seems like another whole area. Can I go back? Is there a backpipe? Nope. No backpipe. Okay. We might have to come back and answer the question of what happens when you go back there. Right now! We're gonna answer that question right now! As I step on my own two feet and get stuck. <laughs> just, I just love doing that. I know it's terrible, but I love doing it. Uh... It was completely intentional. I wanted to go back and check that. It also let me verify the complete and utter lack of midway. You know, you gotta do those things. Don't like you, Mole. Nobody likes you, Mole. Nobody likes Millhouse. Okay, so let's go check out this thing since I died to, to, to go to it. Completely different level. Um, okay, I didn't do any of this right. But it's a Dragon Queen section and it's a puzzle, so I want to do it. It's all right. Let's leave this guy alone while we get the rest of this figured out. So that's one of the things I need to do, and otherwise I think I just need to let the shell rip. We'll hit that. And then we can just go and get it. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Pretty simple puzzle. Mildly satisfying. I'm glad we went back and looked. I'm glad I have a fire flower, because man, does it make getting rid of some critters easier. See, the thing with these is I keep expecting that, like, hitting them will result in me, um, hitting them when they're mid-flight will get me bonked, which is not the case, as we've all established. Just, it's what I expect, though. Midway! Hooray! Alright, what are we at now? Is it vertical level time? 
Like, I keep thinking that it's not gonna let me just go through there. Go through the block. And it's not smart, not after all of the levels I've beaten at this point. And you gave me a cape. I kind of feel like the design of this level is kind of chaotic. Like, there's a lot of things going on, but I'm not really sure why an awful lot of them are going on. Also just realized that they're playing the athletic theme. Okay, there's a lot of things going on up here. Like, is this going to, oh, going to be a puzzle now, or is it just going to be weird? Why are there bouncy blocks here when there's nothing that could possibly bounce off them? What am I trying to accomplish? Maybe they're aesthetic bouncy blocks? Just there to remind us that we, in fact, are in a level with bouncy blocks? It's hard to say. We do have four dragon coins, though. That's a good sign. And it's time to leave the vertical level. Move on to somewhere else. All right, I see you, orb. Hmm, one up. We're looking for that extra... Yeah, there we go. Two one-ups. Feeling good about this level. Anything past the orb? Three one-ups. Okay. Three one-ups. Beautiful. Yoshi's Island 3. You know, I really just don't feel like the bounce blocks added anything to this level. Like, they were just kind of there. Three one-ups. Ah, ah, ah. Yep. I also think I might have duped a block somewhere. Somehow. We'll take another lap on this, because I just kind of want to mess around a little bit. We're not going to bother with the Dragon Coin Room, though. Like, this kind of level feels like it would be very much at home in a standard hack. Aside from maybe some weirdness about, like, the sprite choices. I guess I could have gone for that. Oh, I left my shell behind. You can leave your shell behind. Do not leave your shell behind. You may need it later. Like, that was the most interaction I had with the bouncy blocks in this level. Oop. Yeah, this part I just kind of feel like they doodled on the screen a bit. And then made a level around this concept where he doodled, or where they doodled. Which is an interesting constraint, if so, but... Be kind of funny, you know, scribble on the screen for half a second, make a level around that. Probably not the weirdest level design concept, level design contest concept we've ever had. Actually a bit surprised that the NMI is having problems with that. Wouldn't expect to get flashing for a single block. Especially because I don't think I've seen it happen too much in prior levels. I don't think I have. Let's take one of these guys with us just to see what happens. Not that I'd hold it against them in the event that it was uh, 
broken or anything. I'm enjoying my immortal goom buddy. A little bit of cutoff right there. And there too. Alright. That second lap was, was nice. I think that'll help me get my mind around it. Alright, and this was number 33. It is the small sky. Not the big sky. No, no, no. Gotta go. Alright, see you later, Bunny Link. Have a good rest of your day.